Good morning, big boy. Come on, I got peanuts. Alvin, I gave you so many peanuts right before Buck came, which I'll be posting those videos before Buck's breakfast videos. Hey, baby, you want peanuts? Hurry up before Alvin eats them all. Because Alvin ate half of the cup, but I had to go inside and get more peanuts this morning. Because I was calling Buck, and it actually took him a while to get here. So I wonder if he was hanging out with a doe or something. Did you find a new girlfriend and you're hiding her from me? Because it took you a while to get here. And I want to wish anybody that's a father, happy Father's Day. I hope everyone has, ha well, whoever's a father, I hope you have a happy Father's Day. Like a great day. I wish I was able to spend with my dad, but my dad is in heaven. But I have my father-in-law who's like a second father to me, so it's nice, you know? Today I'll get to spend it with him. And I'll light up a candle for my dad. Like I think I'm better off putting these on the floor because I feel like, here. Here baby, eat them all for the floor because Alvin's gonna eat them all. If they keep falling, the ones that fall, Alvin will eat them all. That's why I'd rather just dump them on the ground and make him dig out like that. Alvin already ran home. And Alvin got really, really close to me. I can't wait to post the videos. I'll post them before this one. Oh, you want apples? Eat your peanuts. I'll give you the other stuff after you don't eat your peanuts, baby, because I don't want, I want you to eat them. Because then if he leaves a few behind, they're going to go so quick. Before, once he's done eating the apples, they'll be gone. Because all the little chipmunks, they'll be eating them all. Let's see, is Alvin back? No, okay. All good, and Buck is actually eating. Let's see. That's a pecan. Let's see if he eats the pecan. I think he wants the A. You want the apples? Yeah. You want the apples? Okay. Yeah. You want the apples? Look at you. Look at you. You're just trying to eat from the plate. I have the bowl on my lap and he's like trying to eat from the bowl. Look at him. You just want to get it on your own? This is how you want to do it? You want to do it like that on your own? I just got to be careful with my head because his antlers are right next to my head. So if God forbid he swings his head like turns fast, I could probably get banged in the head. How about Buck? I feed them to you. Because I think this way is going to be... Yeah, I'll feed them to you, okay? I'll feed them to you because I think you're like too much. you too much up in my face. I promise I'll give you a lot. I'll give you a lot of pieces. I'll give you a lot of pieces. My big boy. He was so thankful yesterday for the peanuts for his dinner time that yesterday I got so many kisses. Like he gave me the most kisses yesterday. I told my husband, I felt like if he was saying thank you, like, oh, thank you for the peanuts. I'm so excited. I feel like that's how Buck shows his appreciation through giving me kisses. Right? Do all your kisses that you give me when you lick me. That's all your kisses. Those are dear kisses. And if they're the sweetest things, right? They're the sweetest thing. They're slobbery kisses, but it's okay. I love you, Buck. I gotta actually check the inside of his ears to see if I see any tick. Let's see. No, I don't see any ticks in the inside of his ears. Okay. Because you were scratching your ears the other day, but I don't see any ticks inside of them. Did you scratch them off? My big boy. That's two apples. You got a red apple and a green apple. I cut up a red and a green. So he'll have both today. You have the red. And the green. So you have a little sweet, a little sour. And I cut up two apples, Buck. They were nice size apples. Your peanuts, baby. I gave half of your cup to the chickmunks, to Alvin and Theodore, and the rest of them. And Bluey came. And then Bluey came with his friends. So I kind of shared your peanuts. I'm sorry. But I gave you some. Okay. There's no more. Now he's going to eat the rest of his peanuts. And there goes Alvin bringing more peanuts home. Oh no, he's looking for more peanuts. <laughs> Alvin is right behind him looking for more peanuts right now. 
And Buck's over here finishing his peanuts. You finish your peanuts? You wanna go your corn? Oh, let me dump more corn in your bucket, actually, Buck. I have the rest of this corn I have to dump, yeah. Okay. Now you got corn, you got fresh water. I put nice cold water in there for him. I cleaned his water bucket out again because it was a little dirt. So I, I don't think there was too many raccoons messing with his bucket last night. That's how I could tell when the raccoons are by his bucket is how dirty his water is, the water bucket. The dirtier the water bucket, that's how you know. Because raccoons, they like to dump their food in water and wet their hands while they're eating. I noticed a lot of videos of raccoons when they eat their food, they like to wet their food while they're eating. See, now he's drinking. My baby, I'm sure those peanuts made you a little thirsty. Yeah, because sometimes I give him peanuts and I don't see him drinking after. And I'm like, how can he not be thirsty? Like, I would be so thirsty. Because I know peanuts, they could make you so thirsty, you know? But then again, they're good for him. It's a lot of protein and vitamins for him. And now I've been adding pecans to his peanuts. So Buck is getting extra spoiled, extra peanuts. But he has a different variety of peanuts that he eats every day, right? My big boy. He's probably finding peanuts. Oh no, he's eating the bread. I threw bread this morning for the birds. But Buck will be eating it. <laughs> like mom i'll enjoy this bread thanks he looks so like majest majestic right i feel like deers they're such like beautiful beautiful animals they're so like majestic like i don't know how to explain it it's like when i look at buck i think <laughs> i think about not even the movie bambi but i think about like fairies and like it's just relaxing <laughs> Right, Buck? He might be a little full now. I'm sure he's gonna go have some corn because he nibbled the corn. He didn't really like eat so much corn. So right now he's probably just making his stomach settle <laughs> with the apples and the peanuts that he ate. Once his stomach settles, he's definitely gonna go have corn. And it comes chunky. Into the corn bucket. Okay, hold on, guys. I just gotta empty this water. I should put it in his water bucket. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait because I have a little bit of water left in the black bucket. But I'd rather dump it in his water than dump it in on the plants over here. So he has extra water. Oh, it's so beautiful outside. Guys, no wind today, which I didn't mind the wind yesterday, but I know Buck, he doesn't really mind. Like, I mean, he minds it. So that's why sometimes on windy days, I'm like, oh, why does it have to be windy? Because I'm more like, you know, I know it doesn't bo it bothers him. But today, it's a beautiful day. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to be barbecuing. They're going to be hanging out outside, going to parks. Like, I could just picture so many families having so much fun outside and enjoying the day. I'm sure there's going to be some families that I'm sure they're going to be going to cemeteries and have flowers. Like, you know, today's a beautiful day to get so much stuff done. It's nice out. Too bad my dad, he's buried in the same state as my sister lives in and my mom. So I won't be able to visit my dad's tomb, like the tombstone. I wish I could, like his grave. I wish I could, but it's so far, like, you know, I can't go there one day, fly there one day. So that's something that's on my goal that I need to do this summer is to go visit my dad. But I'm so thankful for my father-in-law. I have a father-in-law who honestly, he treats me like a dad. Like he's so good to me, so good to me that it makes me, sometimes it makes me like tear up talking about it. I'm gonna change the subject because I don't wanna get teary because I already feel it that I'm getting teary. So I'm gonna switch because I don't want Buck to feel my vibes to, for him to think I'm sad or anything. But he's eating, he's doing good. He's so cute. 
my god his antlers really are so beautiful and they really did get so big yesterday was funny because me and my father-in-law we were debating how many points buck is going to be this year so my father-in-law was like oh he's going to be an eight pointer this year because he had six last like you know the last set i said no i said last year the last set that fell out was eight so this year he's going to be either a nine or a ten pointer i don't know if they get one or two like every year i don't know if it's one point two point but if they get two points he's going to be a ten pointer because he actually had eight the last time the last ones that fell off and i was talking to my father-in-law yesterday i was telling him how you know that buck is going to grow old with us i was like buck is going to get old and grow old with us and he's going to be coming every day every day and my father-in-law was telling me he was like you're lucky that you know we don't live in an area where you hunt that he'll be safe i said yeah i know he was like yeah because usually deers like that don't last too many years you know where people get into them i said no i know I said, that's why I'm so happy that he's here. I'm so thankful. And I'm sure he's thankful for me taking care of him. I already could see it with the way he treats me. Right, Buck? He treat me so good. He's such a sweet boy. <laughs> like I said, only in the beginning, the first, first year Buck ever came. That's the only time he showed a little bit like moodiness towards me. Like the huffing and puffing and kicking. But I feel like that time he didn't hardly know me. So he probably, you know, he thought like I was a threat. Who knows? And I'm sure once he realized that I wasn't a threat, he was like, all right, this girl's not going to do nothing. She loves me. Because every day I would just kept telling him it's okay, it's okay. I kept telling him, calm down, don't worry. Then, like, I gave him his face. Like, I couldn't even stand this close. Like, right now I'm standing literally, like, so close to the bucket. And look at Alvin over here looking for more peanuts. Look, he's looking for peanuts because he knew I was sitting here before. So he jumped on the other side to see if I dropped any. Alvin, I gave you all the peanuts, baby. And that's the same chickmunk. Alvin is the one that tried to take my knife the other day. I had a knife on the floor and he was smelling it and trying to pick it up his mouth. I was like, oh, no, no, we will not have none of that. No, no. We can't be grabbing knives and walking around thinking a little chickmunk in a forest with a knife. Imagine. Oh, my God. That would not be good. I said, no, no. He's cleaning himself. Fuck, that's why you're so clean all the time. Because you're always cleaning yourself. It's okay. That's why the squirrels. You get so scared of everything. Oh my god. And right now, Alvin is fighting with the other chipmunks. They're both chasing each other around. <laughs> it's so funny. I always think of the song, The Animaniacs, when I see the chipmunks like, chasing each other. I think of the song. You know the one from that TV show in the, what was it, 80s, 90s? I used to watch, it was a cartoon, and it goes, Animaniacs. And it was like three, I don't know if they were skunks. They were supposed to be skunks. I don't know what type of animal. I think they were supposed to be skunks. But they were like menaces. That's what the chipmunks remind me of. Oh my God. There's Alvin. Alvin's looking to probably to make sure that Theodore, the other chipmunk, doesn't come close to the spot. Because he's greedy. So greedy. He will not let no other chipmunk come to the spot. Ooh, and guess what? My father-in-law actually told me that there's a bunny that lives in these bushes along here. So right now that baby bunny's probably like, you know, in between these bushes somewhere. And that's, a, I was telling him that that's the same bunny that was right next to me at the other day when I made my dinner video. Once I was done making my dinner, dinner video the other day, I had a little baby bunny literally right next to my leg. I couldn't believe it. But I should have never moved. But you know what it was? I had to get my phone. It was on the other side of, like, you know, on the floor, on the other side. When I went to go grab my phone, boom, it hopped away. I was like, damn, I could have got a cute video of him sitting right next to me. I don't see it right now, but I'm sure he's in there. All the animals seem to, like, come towards me. Even the birds now, everybody. Even Alvin. Alvin now. He comes so close to me. That's why I can't wait to post the video, which I'll be posting before the breakfast video. Because it was while I was waiting for Buck. So you guys will probably see that video first and then this one. You're hungry, my big boy. Today we're going to be going by my brother-in-law's house. So I'm going to have to feed Buck when I get back. Which me and my husband, we never really come back too late. We're back home by like 7. So tonight, Buck is probably gonna get his dinner by like 6.37. Cause I'm not gonna be able to feed him before I leave. It's gonna be too early. It's gonna be like three o'clock. 
2 30 3 o'clock it's gonna be too early for him to eat like that and usually if i try to call him like let's say an hour two hours before his actual time he'll take even longer to come sometimes he'll take like a half hour 20 minutes before he actually pops up so that's why i don't want to ruin the schedule like you know with, so i'm gonna have to feed him when i get back home but i know he'll come he'll pop up he'll probably be waiting for me when i come home i'll probably find him over here waiting I wouldn't be surprised. That's what happened the last time. I think it was on Mother's Day. Right? Yeah, I think it was Mother's Day. No, my niece's um, uh, confirmation. That's what it was. When I went to my niece's confirmation party, I came back home. He was over here waiting. It was so cute. And it was like 7 o'clock. All right, everyone. I'm going to go because this video is getting really, really long. And I know then it's going to take even longer for you guys to receive it. The longer, you know, I record. <laughs> I hope everyone has a great day. I mean, I can't believe I almost did a tear breaker <laughs> earlier in the convo. But it's okay. I will be back later for Buck's dinner time, which will probably be later, later. So the dinner video is probably going to be posted a little later than usual because it depends on what time I get back from my brother-in-law's house. But I'm definitely going to make a video anyway. <laughs> so I will be back later, me and Buck. We'll be back for the dinner time, the evening. Ciao for now, and I hope everybody has a great day.